every bottle. Anyways, <laughs> today I hit my very first, very first weight loss goal of 40 pounds. I have lost 40 freaking pounds in like two and a half months. Can you guys believe that? So That's exciting. That's awesome. That's awesome. I've lost 38. No. Almost 40 pounds. Yeah, I have. Hello, guys. This is actually our first clip of the day, and it's 8.30. 8.28, actually. Close enough. <laughs> it's 8.39, and this is our first clip. But it's one take Sunday, so <laughs> that's why. Yeah. So this is actually week three of our juicing, and it's the first week we've actually used a juicer. Mm -hmm. How do you feel? Well, because we got it last week. Well, I know. I know we got it last week. Um, How do you feel? I feel really good. I feel like I'm getting more nutrients with the juicer than I was with the uh, Nutri Ninja because the Nutri Ninja there just wasn't room for all the fruits and vegetables and I, I think it tastes better too. The juice is it's much sweeter like I don't know juicing with the fruit and the veggies it just comes out sweeter tasting and better tasting because you're not getting like the fiber and you don't have that like weird aftertaste that you get a lot of times with um, when you juice like vegetables with an, juicing with an actual juicer, a lot of times you don't get the aftertaste. So That's true. And there's no pulp, which I happen to love. There's only one juice you didn't like. That was the red juice. Uh, yeah, and we made a red, I made a red juice on Friday. You guys heard, um, if you saw my last video that I did, <laughs> I made two and a half gallons of juice. <laughs> five bottles. That I thought was five, five gallons. gallons. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was five gallons. Anyway, anyway. I made five. I actually ended up cutting my hand. See? See that? It really hurts. Actually, still hurts. Um, but yeah, I made this juice that was beets. Uh, had berries, different types of berries in it. Blackberries, raspberries, and some other types of berries. I don't remember. But um, And then I also put red cabbage in it because that's what the recipe called for. And I think the cabbage just ruined it. It was disgusting. I could not drink it. It was really sweet, but I just... The aftertaste was... Ugh. So, so I drank it all. Yeah, so I will be not, I will never, I don't know what I'm saying here. I'm sorry, it's late. My words are getting jumbled. I will not in the future be juicing red cabbage again because it's disgusting. <laughs> How did you cut yourself? How did I cut my hand? Yeah. I thought I told you. My nose is itchy. Um, I was cutting apples and it's with the big knife that's kind of dull. We have a really big knife that's kind of dull, and so I was pressing down, and the top of it is still pretty sharp, and so on the edge, it just, like, slit my hand right there, and it hurt really bad. Oh. And then after that, I was juicing limes, and the lime juice got in it, and I was like, ah, oh, my hand! It really hurt. <laughs> Oddly enough, the same day, I also got a, a cut, but I got a cut from cardboard from work. From and the boxes? From the boxes. The pizza boxes? And we had yesterday uh, salsa with the lime juice. Oh, yeah, we had chips and salsa. And I got salsa, salsa in my, in my cut snack. and it burned. It burned getting salsa juice in that. It burned. Burned. <laughs> and I burned, burned, burned. <laughs> the ring of fire. <laughs> anyway, my first week with the juicer and the third week. I really, really enjoyed... Your first week and the third week? You threw me off there for a second. Okay, <laughs> week three. Just talk about week three. Week three. This is the first week using the juicer, though. That's what I was saying. Got it. <laughs> I really, really enjoy the juices. I find that I'm not hungry as soon. As often throughout the day? Yeah, that too, I guess. That's the way I'm saying it. But I, I, I can stay satisfied longer at work. Where I don't need to eat, don't need a snack, because yeah. I'm feeling... Well, especially because you, you, your days are so much busier because you go to work, go to school, go to work, go to school. Speaking of, I am so not looking forward to this week. You're going to be gone all the time. Yes, I know. They <laughs> schedule me every single morning. He's working six days <laughs> this week. And then he has school four days this week. So the only time I'll see you is Friday, Friday night and, and Saturday maybe night. Saturday night. Friday night yeah. and Saturday night. Yeah. Maybe we'll do something fun. Yeah. But that... I actually just needed to get a day off during the week because I have a test on Wednesday, my first test. And I needed time to study. I know it's just the review of calculus, the, like review of algebra and trigonometry, but I still want to study, make sure I get a good grade. Mm -hmm. And they scheduled me all the mornings till like 3, 4, 3.30, 4 o'clock, and it's like, I have no time to study. 
and no one at no one so pretty much all day today he's been doing on and off school work yeah but like no one could cover that shift on wednesday morning at the store so i had to end up oh calling, yeah, yeah i ended yeah. up having to call another yeah. location to find someone who can cover my wednesday morning shift so i can have time to study yeah oh my gosh that was ridiculous <laughs> finally got yeah. somebody but at least you got someone to cover it so you'll have yeah. time um, so we've been reading a article in the Enzyme, which is um, hosted by our church. It's kind of what it looks like. This is this month's issue, is it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kind of September's issue, and there is one uh, article in here that's called the the potential of marriage. And there's just a couple things that I wanted to read to you guys that have really impressed me, and that's something that I think um, that we can work on within our own marriage. And then also, if you guys have kids, this also talks about children and the way that they see you um, and your husband or your or well your spouse's marriage and um, how they kind of look up to you and that kind of thing. Children so, are very perceptive. They yeah. They can sense when something's wrong with the they couple. They can. They can. So there's one part in here in particular that I really love. And this says, introduce an ele element of novelty into your dating. There is research suggesting that couples who intentionally date by seeking new experiences often achieve improved relationship and quality. Uh, this requires creativity and effort, not money. And I love that because I feel like so many times we get caught up in the idea of oh, going on a date has to, you have to have money to go do something, or you have to have money to um, spend quality time together. And that's not necessarily the case. One of Doug and I's favorite thing to do is sit and play video games. And we can be very competitive. Sometimes it actually starts arguments. But other times, <laughs> most of the time, the majority of the time, it's just really fun. And it's a really fun way for him and I to connect as a couple that doesn't necessarily require you going out and having to spend loads and loads of money on a fun date night. Now, granted, that is fun, you know, if you have the money to do, to do that, then mm -hmm. that's great. But if you don't, find things that you guys can enjoy doing together that is quality time and, um, and instead of the quantity of spending the money. Mm -hmm. And then I don't know if you had something that you wanted to share. There was. Um, one of the things that I can work on more, there's a part in here, this is actually about suggestions for improving marital quality. So there's a part in here about create a small but meaningful rituals, ritual for when you are apart, when you part and come together again. You know, like the simple kiss or the hug or the I love you. Show that affection. Show yeah. that affection when you part and when you come together. Now, I always make a point to give my wife a kiss before I leave. Before he leaves. And when I come yeah. back. There have been like, I think just a handful, maybe less than, than I can count on my hand, that I, I either don't remember because I was sleeping or he actually forgot to do it and I I will tell you it has stuck with me it's stuck in my noggin when he doesn't do it so and you get mad you call me yeah, up and you, I go, do. you didn't give me a yes, kiss I do I call him out on it yeah so that's something that um I want to do a little bit better make I sure think I'm... we both I think we both need to work on the affection part mm -hmm. we've been kind of struggling as far as communication goes within our marriage and just learning to support each other better. I feel like we've both been really struggling with that. Before we actually recorded this video, we ended up having a small argument. So I, I love this. I love this whole uh, idea of the possibility of a great marriage and tips to improving that. So mm -hmm. I think we're def definitely going to um, apply these to Speak our lives because we tips. definitely need it. Speaking of tips, another part in here that I also like Actively seek uplifting marital, marital improvement resources. This includes books and articles, games, lectures, firesides, workshops, conferences, and more. Yeah, that's really good. We actually have a book called The Sacred Union that we started reading when we first got married. We got I got it as a bridal shower gift, and it's basically just like the importance and sacredness of marriage. Marriage. And um, yeah. we need to start reading it again because I feel like it's really going to help improve the quality of our marriage. Mm -hmm. And there's another thing in there. The last tip was to pray. Now, that's something that Doug and I did even before we were married. We would say prayers together over the phone when we were in long-distance relationships, over Skype or over the phone. And that dramatically has um, increased 
the quality of our marriage as well and just the quality of our friendship and our relationship. Mm -hmm. So I think it's important. Those who pray together, stay together. Yes. That's, that's my topic of the day. Those who pray <laughs> together, stay together. <laughs> anyway, thanks so much for watching, guys. We love you. And I am going to go get this video edited, take a melatonin, and go to bed. <laughs> and I have more homework to do. Bye. We'll see you tomorrow. We'll see you tomorrow. 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 We'll see you tomorrow.